Hey everybody! So in this video, we're going to be writing a linear combination of unit vectors. So we're going to let u be the vector with the initial point 2, comma, negative 5 and with the terminal point negative 1, comma, 3. And so we want to write u as a linear combination of the standard unit vectors i and j. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to write u in component form, which means that we're going to be taking our x's and finding their difference, and then taking our y's and finding their difference. So again, that means that we're going to be finding our change of x and our change of y for our component form. So we can go ahead and we can plug that in. So we have u equals negative 1 minus 2 and 3 minus negative 5. So here are our change of x's and here is our change of y's, which is going to give us u equals negative 3 comma 8. And so we can write this as a linear combination by putting our change of x in front of our i and our change of y in front of our j. So we can say that u equals negative 3i plus 8j. And so remember those little hats that I'm drawing on top of the i and the j are used to denote unit vectors. It's kind of hard to write them in bold here. So let's just take a look at this. So this is our answer, but let's take a look at this on a coordinate plane so we can see exactly how this works. So here we have a coordinate plane and we're going to go ahead and graph our initial point and our terminal point. And so our vector is between them. And so we can see that, remember, um, that our unit vectors, our standard unit vectors here, have a magnitude of one, right? So they move one each time. So if we look at what kind of horizontal movement we're having, we're having horizontal movement of one, two, three to the left in the negative direction, right? Three in that negative direction. And that was our change of x's. And then we're having a movement of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in our vertical direction, and that was our change in y. And so here we're able to see that if we were given a graph, we could also find these numbers as well. 